does not compute does not compute yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything in with the microphone being able to hear you that you might regret. Like. The mic does not let anyone escape. Hey, I don't know. Yeah, just continue to the latest save. Yeah, there's only one. Yeah. Ayan, nahihinga na are you getting the wind? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Does the wind hate you? Anyway, do you run? Asa na tayo? Uh, something about the info and stuff. Yung pinaka-ano, map? Hmm. Yes, because why? Why would uh, Angel Star be lying about where she actually was? Mm. Mm. Why the angle at which she saw the crime occur would change? The angle? What do you mean? Um. Well, the security guard station is on the second floor, and um, she had a sort of. A more 3D view. I think we got it wrong. Why? Well, fuck. Ah! <laughs> Three choices. We'll get it right. <laughs> what about the distance? <laughs> Changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. Objection. My condolences, Mr. Wright, but one look at the floor plan and it's quite clear. The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. It is? I don't see how that would change what she could see. Hmm. What she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it would take her to reach the scene of the crime. Hmm. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to go from there? To the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Sky. Well witnessed! Ew. Yes? You ordered the squid wheels, right? Quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. I was bringing a PB&J lunch with my fresh boy and said boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. Mmm, boysenberry for the boyfriend. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass-walled station. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked and I couldn't open it. Bruh. <laughs> I guess that's when she took the picture. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking in B-Block. That's quite a detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Five minutes? Hmm, this changes things considerably. But was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him? I know it. I have photographic evidence. No, you do not. 
I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic sport. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point, and the sport is a wonderful invention. <laughs> Would you like another caviar lunch? Bruh. Absolutely! Oh, man. Uh oh. Mr. Wright, you have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Can't hurt to try, I guess. Huh? Can't hurt to try, I guess. Objection. Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You could make pasta in that amount of time. If you like it al dente. <laughs> I've got lunch boxes that tie pasta into knots, rookie. <laughs> A five minute blank. Isn't that strange? Strange? If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, Your Honor? Yeah, Well, um, I guess I'd flee the scene. Hey! <laughs> uh, don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> but you have the instincts of a killer. You would run, but this time was different. Miss Sky dawdled at the seat of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant and a blank in her testimony. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth is the next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can shut, Mr. Wright! Uh, that was too close. It's not a victory yet. I'm afraid that the cough-up queen has been dethroned. And with that, court is adjourned. Hmm? Hold it. Mm. Yeah. But uh, it seems we're not quite done yet. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to foist off on me. I prefer to not take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What, and you've been hiding this? What was that? Is this another one of her trick lunch boxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Is this your jumbo lunchbox? Bruh. <laughs> Woo! A triple decker! <laughs> Out of deference to the witness's determination, I'll allow one more testimony. Oh, yeah. It's totally not because I'm just hungry. <laughs> Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunch lad moto says, you won't be disappointed. What's she going to pull out of her lunchbox this time? I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Yes, you did not. Two types of blood were found on this shoe. One was of course the victim's and the other blood type matched that of the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Hmm. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. Nah, that would imply that there was a struggle. What? There was blood found on that shoe? Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Bruh. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed. Didn't I mention? 
I have three boyfriends in forensics. <laughs> Bruh. In any case, your honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule 1. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Ugh, ugh. Is that right, Mr. Wright? <laughs> <laughs> Seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty fun. You could at least study some evidence law, really. <laughs> the prosecution's complaints notwithstanding. It appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems to have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Oh boy, looks like there's still one more. Hopefully, it's the last for this day. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how you do with this game. Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. And why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. Hmm. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. This when the suspect is admitting she did it? A false testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Let's just get this over with. These witnesses all suck and the judge just, just always lets them go. And now the mother of them. You found this shoe at the scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with a shoe. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe was my secret weapon, if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It cares more than lunch boxes, gentlemen. I'm happy for you and your lunchbox bag, really. In any case, you removed the valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. Yeah. Now tell us what you did next. Hey, we're we're not exactly not guilty of that crime as well. We did take that ID. <laughs> Two types of blood. Blah blah blah. I already read this. So you brought it to the forensics department. We'll finish this trial day and then that's when we'll end today for now. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. She got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The 
shoe does appear to have blood stains on it. Well, the man was stabbed after all. And that blood belonged to the victim, Detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. And the other <gasps> blood type... Don't worry about your lives. Once we handle to the next trial, your life will be back Don't to full. It. Yeah. Can't say for sure the blood belonged to the defendant with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, Rookie? Huh? Well, speak up. Uh, well, blood comes in four types, A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was committed in cold blood. <laughs> That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, we can differentiate between millions of types with all the blood tests out there. You're supposed to be in my side, Emma. Which means that we can more or less narrow down any sample of blood down to just one person. Or so I hear. <laughs> That's pretty specific. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lana Skies. Hmm. So the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. I don't know, you can look at the court record. Who, the, it probably says who it belongs to. Hmm. Belongs to Goodman. That ties her directly to the death of Detective Goodman. I was afraid he was going to say that. Yeah. I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You ordered the pepper and fish guts, right? Some like it hot, Mr. Wright. Some like your client. She sent enough hot water to make a whole vat of soup. Mr. Wright, do you or don't you have a problem with this shoe? A problem? Well, 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 this is critical. Well, well, well. Is there a problem with the victim's shoe? Eh, that's pretty much every assistant in Phoenix, right? <laughs> what did Maya ever fucking do? <laughs> well, I'm channeling. Another's a problem. You think? Yeah. I'm not imagining things. I'd say there is one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take the bihita, could you? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say. We should save. You know, because you might... You're still on your last leg. <laughs> but it's contradictory about the victim's shoe. Just the problem with this evidence. You gotta present what you think is wrong with this shoe. You gotta remember, you can look at the 3D models of the things. Huh? You haven't been doing that. Is that what you're doing right now? Where do you think is the problem with this shoe specifically? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Is this Goodman? It definitely belongs to Goodman. It's white. Is it present? 
you're gonna present that empty space right there that isn't even the shoe. <laughs> There's blood under the soul. That's the problem. I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Yeah, then why didn't you show it? <laughs> Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Hmm, indeed, there is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense, the victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradictory about this blood on the bottom of his shoe? You can't show the shoe, obviously, that's not the correct answer. Let's go buy check thumb. Yeah. Very, very, very close. What? I'm never gonna say if you're correct though. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you how close you are. You're as close as any man could ever get close to anyone that can ever be close. Then present it. No harm in trying. Except losing the game, I guess, since you're on your last leg. Obviously. You can always view everything else. It's not just the picture you can view in more detail. Like, if you click on this again, as you can see, you can uh, see a 3D model of it. If you look at... If you click on this, you see the picture. If you look at this... Wow, it's your badge. Isn't that amazing? It's usually not that important, maybe. Then go ahead. Go ahead, then. You must believe in yourself. And your client, you are correct. As you can see, there is no blood in the in the picture on the ground. That was the contradiction. The problem lies in the footprint. Dapat kumalat na yung blood doon sa ano, di ba? The footprint? Note that the bottom of the shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Aha! As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. Is this the edge ward? Yeah. That contradicts your claim about this shoe! This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been bloody footprints. Then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Order! 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 Well, witness! What? Huh? I, uh... Great going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of a footprint is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh! That's true! There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. 
think, Mr. Wright. Think. Pang pressure lang to si Emma. Hindi naman nakakatulong. Think outside the box, wise. There are no footprint. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. <laughs> what? I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There's one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. Chief Prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly oppressor. This one, a leopard woman, rare. The oil barrels? I thought that was a strange thing for a normally cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that? Hmm. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. Well, apparently, you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. <laughs> witness! Well... Was the oil drum empty? <laughs> the oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Yep, you're correct. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason. He's the prosecutor, that's our his job. <laughs> Oh, you don't mean. Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To wash the blood. To erase the bloodstains that would become evidence against her. Hmm. Ah! That ties things up quite nicely. The bloodstains left on the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to this murder. Then after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. Why, that's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. <laughs> that reminds me, this guy's right hand was hurt. Did she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe? Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something, please. What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. <laughs> but... Enough. There is no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor. Hello. Very well. Well, we've been the ten. <laughs> but Angel Star's on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Ah. Hold it. Yes, I want to save the day. No? Little girl, what did you just say? To Emma. Emma? Huh? M me? Ah, uh, my ibang witness. Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution's side? W well, yeah, you are. Ah, uh, inano niya. <laughs> Galing ni Emma, ni reverse niya. Eh, galit nga siya sa prosecution. Prosecutors. You're saying my sister hit evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. 
another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. Wait, witness, don't tell me you have something else. How many stuff do you have left? The time for deliberations is past. Any further comments and you will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare me, the cough up queen. Look at this, another picture. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> and we've barely been playing for half an hour. But we're almost done, I'm sure. <laughs> Bruh, a photograph? I had it just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm. hmm, I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Wright, wait! Look at the asphalt in this photo! It's wet. It's clearly wet. Oh. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Uh, I guess I, I couldn't help after all. No, it's not over yet. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. And then suddenly Emma. Or Mia, I mean. I'm sorry, Mia. Right, wet or not. Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. Somewhere else. Didn't you notice something in the picture? Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. You can only cry when it's over. It's the last piece of evidence. Very well. This time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. Objection! Objection! <laughs> Your Honor, wait! What is it with you people? Can't I hand down my verdicts in peace anymore? Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it cannot. It will be too late. Look at this photograph, the last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, Brian, are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yes. I'll think later. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem. Am I wrong? I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. You're almost done. I'm pretty sure this is the last thing you need to do. And then this trial is over. And we proceed to day two investigation. Continue. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem in this photograph. Lepe. Take a look. Lepe yung dapat malalagyan. Saka paano malalagyan ay nakahiga? Obviously, the body was put there. I noticed it immediately the moment I saw the picture, honestly. You gotta click it twice to confirm. You think the shoe's the problem? Well, it's probably here, don't you think? You're wrong. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's the one that's here. I think it's the one that's here. Okay, 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 okay. 
Is the other leg? No, this one. The knife? Mm. Or the other leg? Yeah. What about it? Dapat. Let's stop it. Go ahead. Dapat. Hindi mawawala yung isang shoes. Kung nakatago. Yeah, but there is only one shoe and it's right there and that's the one we use that Emma or er, er, Angel, Angel showed. Go ahead. Try it. Anyway, you're wrong, by the way. Yes, actually. Do you give up? Yeah, I give up. Ah, take it, take it, take it. Come on, you pick the water. All right. You think the water's the problem? Yeah. All right. Then go ahead. Male. Male. Again. You give up? We give up now. Okay then. The problem is in the muffler. Uh, Look at that. Do you see that? Something's uh, inside it. The problem in this photograph is here! <laughs> why didn't you... Why didn't you do that first? What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler! Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth! Your Honor, you just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any in this photograph. A muffler is also a part of a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. <laughs> just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and I see. It appears there's a muffler in this muffler. <laughs> What's this suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? Hmm, so what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Objection! It has everything to do with everything. Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. Remember in the previous testimony? What? She mentioned something about the muffler. Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. That's why you think this piece of cloth. Yeah, sure. Why not? You can go ahead and check. Yeah. Huh? You can pee too. Actually, I'm gonna pee too. Be right back. Speed breaks are normal and okay to do in a lot of playing video games.
Ah, shit, can't go back and save. Huh, I wonder what's actually the problem with the muffler thingy. Oh. Right. I know what the problem is now. I'll let mom And the lift though. We're having a big deal. Wait, is that what's called? Whatever it is, I just I just know it's tasty and it's one of my favorites. Get my phone. It seems to charge way too fast now. Why do you think the the cloth and the muffler is important? What evidence suggests that it might be important? How do you feel about that? <sighs> Wait, we're wrong. Mali. I think we are. <laughs> well, shit. Mali. Uh, whoops. here okay then uh i don't know what the correct answer is <laughs> let's just keep skipping yeah to the point to the part where we do the thingy there we go hmm.
ito, yung shoes. Hmm? Yung shoes? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and it's still up to you, you know? Or it, it'd be cheating if I help out. <laughs> I'm Emma. I'm the useless uh, <laughs> partner. <laughs> It's a plot in the map where it's related to this space. and load your save. <laughs> Go to options and load. And then list. Alright, let me try. <laughs> Why not? Why is it suspicious? Is there something we can see in the 3D models, maybe? Ano ba yung pinresent mo last time? <laughs> if it's yellow, you remember, that means you can examine it. The autopsy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is going on? Are you sure it was the photo you presented last time? in here so we don't have to fucking the piece of cloth and the muffler is related to this case what else have we not yet shown our <laughs> plan our plan nope are you sure you present. Ah, yep. It is wrong. Alright, let's just try everything. Wee! The shoe. Oh. This? Fuck. Fuck. No. What the fuck is wrong with this one? <laughs> I don't get it either. Floor plan na ano natin, Ay, ito! Bakit basag? Anong basag? Ah, that's a trophy! Oh, <laughs> that have anything to do with the muffler? Yarg! Welcome to Phoenix Ride! Ride the ID ID. 
Shit, I keep forgetting that's not how you present the evidence. We'll save that for last. What was that? Alright, fine, let's try the trophy. How about the baya? My our our bayage. <laughs> no, it's always it's never the correct answer. <laughs> Alright, let's try this stuff. Alright, how about this? Oh, no, wait! Wait, I figured it out. I can't believe I'm such an idiot. The phone mentions a muffler. Miss Star! <laughs> Recall your testimony for the court. I don't say you say flashbacks because we already read all this. Muffler. Ah, yeah. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? Exhaust pipe. Ugh. If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Oh. Oh, anyway, it, it's not Angel. She's not the real killer. Well, it seems we will have to suspend the court proceedings. Yay, we survived! To suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once, and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Whew. That was close. But we made it. At least for now. <laughs> this court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. <laughs> He's still hungry. I thought that we, I thought we were over for today, <laughs> in general. Yep, there we go. To be continued. Let's save and let's go. I am hungry, and so are you. Uh, kaya lang,